Good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Tuesday, April the 5th, and here are today's top headlines. We have breaking news from overnight. Shots ring out along the 710 freeway, sending at least one person to the hospital. We're live with the ongoing investigation. Major change in weather. We are tracking the summer-like temperatures and winds rolling across Southern California. And boy, what a great game. Talk about a comeback. Kansas pulls off the biggest comeback in NCAA championship history. Highlights from last night's March Madness championship game. Early edition of the KHLA 5 Morning News starting right now. I'm with you, Megan. The defense that Kansas displayed in the uh -huh, second half uh -huh. and the fact that their best shooter, Love, was four for 23 in the, I mean, for the whole game. Mm -hmm. I mean, that kind of shooting, but they, you were right. You called it. You oh said my. they'd go so down and they'd come you back. You won't say anything. Uh, Love it. Good morning to you <laughs> sitting next to the, the savant over here. I'm Chris Schauble. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Megan Henderson. We are oh. glad you're with us. Uh, Ginger, mm. hi. Hi, yes. I, I mean, look, we're going to see the highlights and we'll see how right on Megan you are, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, nailed it. But that was Let's tougher, see. you know, the loss. And, like, they were, you know, ahead and then behind. Big time. Anyway, time. anyway so when, 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 when we, <laughs> and Henry, he gets here, yeah. um, then, you know, we'll have more to discuss. But for now, <laughs> It's going to be hot tomorrow. So, like, today's that day, right, where, right. look, the beaches, they kind of look quiet right now. Oh, man, some people are going to probably get camped out as early as tonight <laughs> because tomorrow it's on. And then there will be this major heat advisory. It's going to be a lot for us to talk about that's not stuff that we want to be talking about. There we go. I think the clicker worked. But anyway, so today you can see it, right, coastal highs at about 71 degrees. So just about perfect, even downtown and really the San Fernando Valley. It's right now 73 degrees. Come on, is that right, you guys? Because that seems a little bit warm already. Anyway, our friends in the high deserts are looking at 68 for now. 80 degrees and sometimes we point out some of these other areas because it helps you to gauge what it will be like like 88 in the Inland Empire. Okay, so that tells us like the San Gabriel Valley, you know, maybe more like 80 degrees, that kind of stuff. We're going to have heat advisories. We're going to have Santa Ana winds. We have a lot to discuss and even more so when Henry gets here. So we'll talk about all that stuff in a little bit. Let's take you over to look at this sigler that was actually just issued not that long ago. 170 North. At Sherman Way, three right lanes are closed, maybe about six o'clock, give or take, uh, before they can reopen up those lanes. So the three right lanes, you see it, it's still pretty good. That will start to slow down, of course. And then we'll move you over to look at Ventura County, where we know those winds might be a factor for our friends in Simi Valley, Moore Park. Of course, hot spots as well come tomorrow. We'll watch to see what develops for today. For now, anyway, everything looking good. Oh, there was something along the 101 in Ventura. I'll have to double check it, but it's a little bit out there. All right, guys, back to you. Ginger, thank you so much. 403 is a time breaking news in Southgate. One person in the hospital after gunfire erupted on the 710 freeway overnight. KTLA 5's Carlos Herrera live now with the latest details. Carlos, good morning. Uh, Chris Megan, good morning. Uh, all lanes back open here on the 710 freeway. Take a look through Spell Gardens and Southgate. All northbound lanes are open. Smooth sail this morning, but a few hours ago, totally different story. They were closed as uh, authorities here were investigating a possible car to car shooting that happened overnight. Take a look at the video here. Pretty dramatic. In fact, uh, the scene showing their bullet holes on the car's windshield inside as well. Investigators looking for bullet casings. Authorities say it happened at about 1230 AM on the northbound 710 near the Firestone Boulevard on ramp. Initial reports indicating the victim was traveling north on the freeway when he was shot at least one time in the back. He pulled over in the center divider just south of Florence Avenue.